most by-elections are unfortunately come down to what announcements you make and what the public regards as your commitment to that seat. By-elections are notorious for making political announcements. So is this a political announcement in the sense that you've just identified? Well, I would have described it as an announcement which was good for the community insofar as providing facility, but also politically of curry favour with the community. And that's, at the end of the day, uh, whether we like it or not, that's democracy. Each party puts forward their list of projects or what they're convincing the electorate about what they're going to do. Um, and this had been a long-standing, long-standing commitment. Was Mr Maguire encouraging you to support this? Yes, he had provided, he had provided feedback to my office and to myself on what he thought the top order, and I believe to the candidate at the time, as to what the top order issues were in the community. You would rely, he held the seat for 20 years, you wouldn't disregard what he would recommend in terms of what he thought was going to win us the election. You didn't actually care about the detail of the proposal because you took the view that the appropriate course to win the Wagga by-election was to just throw money at Wagga. Well, I wouldn't say just throw money, but it's a regular... Uh, a regular political activity that that governments try to uh, win seats, try to keep their seats, as do opposition. So I don't think it's a surprise to anybody in and around government to know that we threw money at seats in order to keep them. 